The first, which has passed, bans chokeholds and makes using them a crime. This law just passed the council. It means anyone convicted would face up to a year in prison and a $250,000 fine. The next piece of legislation would protect the public's right to record police activities as long as doing that does not interfere. And then there's the third bill, which calls for an early intervention system. This records, tracks, and reviews officer activity to identify the officers who may need better training, monitoring, or need reassignment. More legislation calling for the officer's shield numbers to be readily visible. And another bill that just passed calls for the NYPD to be more transparent about the surveillance technologies that they are using. And that includes how it works and how the information obtained will actually be used. And finally, that bill calls for guidelines on how to discipline officers when they commit violations. Speaker Corey Johnson spoke specifically about the chokehold bill. I don't have to tell New Yorkers why this bill is important. When George Floyd cried, I can't breathe, or mama, it was a tragic reminder for all of us of Eric Garner, who died on a sidewalk in Staten Island, killed because of a police chokehold. This legislation is long overdue. Mayor de Blasio expected to sign the bills when they get to him.